Chris Farfoy. Mr Speaker, can I um, join uh, with the uh, member who's just spoken in um, sending my sympathies uh, to some of the um, winemakers uh, in and around the Kaikoura region, also uh, in North Canterbury, that have had some of their production um, obviously affected uh, by the events of the last uh, 48 hours, uh, and hope that they can continue uh, business as usual uh, as soon as possible. Um, because, as has been mentioned um, a number of times by a number of speakers already in this debate, um, some of those industries, um, both large and small, are very important to, to those areas which have been affected um, quite markedly by. Uh, the quakes um, over the last um, 48 hours. Um, also, I, I should um, also acknowledge um, Stephen, uh, uh, sorry, Stuart Smith, <laughs> uh, the MP uh, for Kaikoura, and our um, colleague on this side of the house, uh, Reno Tirakatani, who is um, uh, the MP for the whole of the South Island, who is down there doing some um, good work as well. And um, our thoughts obviously go out to the people of, of Kaikoura. Um, this piece of legislation has come about because our wine is good. Uh, and because we want to protect the integrity of that and don't want to see anyone else making uh, money off it um, uh, by scurrilous means, um, we want to protect um, the geographical indicators uh, of our wine. Uh, I guess uh, in plain English, uh, I mean, that means uh, where it has come from in the past. Um, anything that has, have, that has had 85 per cent of the grapes uh, within it um, has been able to be passed as New Zealand wine. Uh, 15 per cent of, uh, of it could have been from anywhere else and it could have been still passed off uh, as New Zealand wine. Uh, and this piece of legislation uh, will mean that uh, 100 per cent of the grapes that go into making uh, wine, uh, whether that be domestic or uh, for export consumption, has to be um, 100 per cent New Zealand grapes to be passed off uh, as a, a, a local wine. Um, I'm the one that has to see this uh, out to uh, the end of the um, at night, but it is a piece, an important piece of um, legislation because someone has already tested it about three years ago uh, when uh, the Woolworths supermarkets uh, in Australia uh, were taken to court here in New Zealand for trying to trademark the South Island uh, and an image uh, of a mountain which um, bore very close resemblance to Mount Cook. Uh, and they were taken uh, to court uh, by the Wine Growers Association and they lost the ability uh, to trademark the South Island as a brand. Uh, and to have that logo. Interestingly enough, though, uh, in Australia, they have won the ability to have the South Island trademark uh, as a brand, but there is an exception to that rule but because they cannot protest if another uh, brand of wine comes on the market uh, that bears the South Island trademark, which uh, obviously uh, New Zealand wine growers uh, will be um, very happy with. Um, Mr. Mr Speaker, um, with the couple of minutes that I've got left, I, I think I do have to, again, as a previous uh, speaker said, um, uh, mark my protest at the uh, New Zealand First point of opposition uh, on this piece of legislation uh, around um, the trademark, around the opposition process around Māori uh, trademarks. I think it's a good thing. The Select Committee has put in a process an advisory council to make sure uh, that that has been done. Um, so I think that is a good thing. Uh, and that the New Zealand First uh, should rethink its opposition to that, uh, uh, to this piece of legislation. Uh, and also, Mr Speaker, I think um, around the five-year trademark, I understand from my colleague uh, Stuart Nash that that's around making sure that it's financially sustainable uh, to make sure that it can pay for itself. So that is also a good thing for uh, the Select Committee to have done. And I think that's all I should say at this stage. The question is that the motion is agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. A party vote is called for. The clerk will conduct a party vote. New Zealand National? Uh, 59 in favour. New Zealand Labour? 31 in favour. Green Party? 13 in favour. New Zealand First? 12 votes opposed. Māori Party? 2 in favour. Act New Zealand? One in favour. United Future? One in favour. Any other votes? The ayes are 107, the noes are 12, the bill will be read a third time. Geographical Indications Wine and Spirits Registration Amendment Bill, third reading. The House stands adjourned until 2pm tomorrow.